So you were saying that DNA has very interesting properties other than just storing information. That's right. In the old days, people thought that DNA was simply um, a molecule that stored information, but it's now known that DNA can do many other things. And for us, one of the most exciting and interesting properties of DNA is its ability to catalyze reactions. And some of this is due to the complex three-dimensional structures that DNA molecules can form. Here's one example. How do you develop a sequence like that? Well, we don't know how to design them. So instead, we use artificial evolution methods. So the way this works is we first make a large library of random DNA sequences. The libraries we use for these kind of experiments contain about 10 to the 15th different random sequences. This is an enormous number, number that we don't normally encounter in everyday life. We then fish out the rare variants or rare molecules that have some sort of interesting property. So let's suppose that we have the sequence. What can we do with that? So one of the projects we're working on in the lab is trying to make DNA molecules that generate light. And the idea would be to eventually make sensors from these light-producing DNA molecules. So for example, imagine you have a sensor that only produces light in the presence of some kind of small molecule that's present in patients uh, that have a certain kind of cancer. You could simply take a blood sample, add this DNA to the blood, and see if it produces light. And this would be a very quick and easy way to diagnose patients with uh, certain kinds of cancers. So this is something we're working on at the moment. That's truly fascinating. Takže já doufám, že až příště půjdu doktorovi, tak moje krev nebude svítit. Mm.